All right, so these are the cuttings uh, that I did September 12th. We are the 18th today, so that's six days now. Uh, let me show you the growth that I'm getting right now. Uh, let me bring you in close here. All right, so they are all pretty much uh, budding and producing leaves. You can see here, 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 especially this one. Now these budded quickly because when I received the cuttings they already had buds on them. These were the very end of the branches that he took the cuttings from. Um, so they did have buds already but only after a few days this opened and I'm going to show you some pictures here when they just opened after a couple of days. Um, but I want to show you also here if you don't have buds that on all of these nodes here, 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 you can see right here that they're actually starting to sprout leaves. That's within the first week. It's been six days. You can see right here where this node is, there's a little teeny leaf coming out there. I don't know if you can see it on the video. Same thing here, 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 wherever you get these nodes, you're going to get some type of growth coming out. So out of all of these, it looks like just this one here is a little late comer. It, uh, you can see the bud is just starting to open up here. Uh, compared to the rest of them, it's already uh, sprouting new leaves here where the nodes are and the buds are opening up also, especially this one right here. This one's rocking and rolling. But this is what you should expect. Um, I took the cover off, the, I had a plastic cover on this. I took the plastic cover off after about, what was it, yesterday or the day before I took them off. So after about four or five days, because I did start to notice a little bit of fuzzy stuff growing on the, uh, on the cutting. And that is mold uh, or fungus or whatever. You don't want that. Um, so I took the cover off and just make sure it's moist and you can see at the very bottom of the cup there there is some water down in there uh, i am going to show you how i water them and um, and keep them moist and just keep checking it every couple of days i watered these yesterday but i'm going to water it again uh, because it, the this potting mix the seed starter potting mix does drain very well it holds water good and it also drains well um, so that's what's good about the seed starter uh, potting mix. All right, so I grabbed a jug of water. Just water it like that. And like I said, this seed starter potting mix uh, drains very well, but it holds moisture. Um, that's because I think it's because it's got a lot of peat moss in there. Uh, yeah, peat moss. Um, so you can see here, it's filling up here, the outside of the cup. So just let it drip like this. And actually you can reuse this water for the next plant. But um, just let it drip like this. And put that down and go on to the next one. And that'll drain down. And again, save the water and throw it in the next one and keep keep doing that to all your uh, cuttings. Or just water them and throw the water out, whatever you want to do. <laughs> uh, but the reason why I save the water and throw it into the next one because you do wash out some nutrients in the uh, soil when you do that. So you might as well just put it back into the next, uh, you know, your next cutting. And we'll put that one aside there. Let that one drain through. Maybe just add a little more here. And that should do it. Now I don't see any roots yet. Um, you know, the first week the roots are gonna be very, very small. Now I'm not gonna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna pull the uh, cutting out just to show you. Um, I may end up killing the plant doing that. 
but um, they're going to be very small. You know, eventually you're going to start seeing the roots coming through here and pushing up against the plastic cup. Uh, when you see a lot of that going on, then you know it's about time to put it in a bigger plot, a pot or to transplant them outside somewhere um, if you're early in the spring. Me, this is uh, September, uh, middle of September here, or actually what, September 18th. Uh, here in East Texas, we have uh, roughly June or uh, uh, November for decent weather. December things start going downhill here pretty quick uh, and most most of your trees will go dormant here uh, fruit trees anyways um, so um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do if I'm going to put these in a pot and let them grow throughout the winter and then just put them outside in the spring uh, I don't know if that's gonna screw up their uh, internal clock <laughs> or um, if I should just let them go dormant um, in a pot and um, maybe uh, keep them in the garage where it's not really, really cold. I mean, here in East Texas, it doesn't get that cold. Uh, we do get a few nights in the dead of January where it does get down into the mid to low teens for like two nights, and that's the worst I've ever seen. Um, other than that, it's usually in the 30s at night, low 30s right around the freezing uh, mark, uh, but sometimes you get these weird cold fronts coming through and uh, you get that bizarre weather. That, that's everywhere. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do there if I'm going to let these go dormant or, uh, or just keep them in a pot alive all winter long inside, uh, but we'll see. We will see. But anyways, uh, that is about it. Keep them uh, moist. Uh, keep checking, make sure that the water is coming out and it's not, you know, the whole cup isn't full of water, obviously, because these things will rot. All right, so the soil is well drained, but it is very moist. All right. And keep rechecking even after you've uh, you watered them like this and drained it. It takes a while for that water to go down to the bottom of the cup. As I can see here, the water from the outside is, is reaching here. So empty that out. And this one here. This one's not that bad. Okay, so that's really pretty much it. Uh, your first week, you should start seeing some, uh, if you have buds, they should start opening up. If you don't have buds, you will start to see them sprout out of the nodes. Uh, roots are gonna take a little longer. Once you see them, maybe uh, uh, another week or two. Uh, once you see them start pushing up against the uh, plastic and they're starting to really, you know, get entangled in there, then it's time to put them in a bigger uh, pot. Uh, or transplant them outside if, you, if the weather permits. So let me show you in my orchard how my other figs are doing. All right, I am in front of my turkey fig here. This is in my orchard. Uh, I planted this tree the Ellen White method. If you're not familiar with that method, uh, I'm going to put a link to that right here. Um, they absolutely love that method. Of planting obviously they're doing great I'm going to show you another tree here that's grown in less than three months over three feet of growth okay but this one in particular I want to show you the size of the leaves on this thing now this is a turkey fig now this tree is not a huge uh, tree you know it's still small and young but I am getting here from the top of this leaf to the very bottom 11 and a half inches and I'm gonna zoom you in here and uh, I'm gonna show you this alright guys the very top here to here if you look is 11 and a half inches alright so that is a huge leaf for a tree this size okay let me show you one more tree 
that has I think over three and a half feet of growth in almost three months now. All right, this is my Violette de Bordeaux fig tree. Um, I planted this June 26, and here's a picture of it. It's the, you can see the uh, branches here are pretty much horizontal and level with the wood chips. And here it is today. So that was two months and three weeks. So just shy of three months. And we have here, I'm gonna measure this. From about the ground to the top of this leaf, we have four feet, okay? Four feet of growth in just shy of three months. That is amazing. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it for the update. You've seen how wonderful my figs are doing in the orchard, uh, planting them the Ellen White method. Uh, if you're not gonna plant them in that method, make sure the uh, make sure you put uh, at least some phosphate and calcium um, in the soil. Um, not so much the ni nitrogen. They really don't need that much nitrogen. But the um, I would suggest putting, because that's what I put in the Ellen White method, is phosphate, uh, like a 030, um, lime, which is calcium, and... Um, also, for a little bit of nitrogen, you can use cottonseed meal. You can buy that in most feed stores. Uh, just go online. You can pick that up anywhere. Um, extra minerals. Azomite, that's good too, if you can put that in there. Um, you're basically concerned about uh, phosphate, uh, minerals like calcium, um, and other minerals. I put a little bit of seawater, but that's just a very small amount. If you're going to pot these, I wouldn't suggest putting seawater in there because you could kill it. Um, but stuff like azomite, um, that works really well um, to give more um, minerals in the soil. All right, guys, so that's about it uh, for this update. Um, I will keep you updated in future uh, videos how these are doing and throughout the year um, and how these cuttings are doing until I make that video where I'm actually eating a fruit off these things. <laughs> All right. So guys, I appreciate you. I appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe and share. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.